some breathing and connecting together, and then some movement. And I hope all of you are able to get outside today because this, uh, this is quite unusual weather. All right, so today I, I know that some of us might be feeling the residual of last week, which is of course normal. So I thought that this might be a little helpful for us, a little. So why don't we sit back? You can close your eyes if that helps you to drop in more easily and hear the words. But as we're dropping in, let's first, let's bring our hand to the heart. You can take a few breaths here, reminding yourself that you are here, that you are present, that you are a gift. So let's begin by breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel your connection to your feet on the earth. That grounding is equally important to the breathing. Okay. So as you're staying with your breath, there are a couple I'd like to read. This one's about letting go from Thich Nhat Hanh. Letting go gives us the freedom and freedom is the only condition for happiness. Letting go gives us freedom and freedom is the only condition for happiness. And another one I'd like to add to this Let go of your attachment to being right, and suddenly your mind is more open. Let go of your attachment to being right, and suddenly your mind is more open. And that, that, uh, that quote is really about how our ego is mostly in charge. And when we're in a yoga practice, we're trying to move away from the ego. So let's keep our hands on our hearts if you're still comfortable with that. And we'll connect ourselves to all of the beautiful souls in our, our circle of squares. So as we're connecting with our heart, like us. No, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? Take your right hand and hold it to your left hand. So this is your dominant hand. We're going to hold it our receiving hand. We're going to bring that receiving hand to our heart and close the eyes and say, I love you. You may want to say it a few times. You are important and vital. And whatever else comes to mind this morning, you're flipping it. Of course, you're saying you love yourself, that you are important. And then from this place, we want to open up that part of our hearts that sometimes is, um, we keep closed because of past hurts. But today we're going to open it and share it with our beautiful community here. However that might look for you, maybe it's a little doorway with this beautiful light that comes out. Let's allow that light to come out. Let's allow that light to be shared with our community. And if that helps to use the movement that we're sharing this light with our community in support 
And so it is. And support and love and honor. And then we'll bring our hands back. If you'd like, you can set an intention, a prayer. Those are always beautiful to start the morning with an intention for ourselves. You can have more than one intention, by the way. And then we'll begin to do our movement. Oh, Daisy is right here. She wants to connect. I'm going to back up so you can see her. So we're going to, what you looking at? We're going to breathe in. We're going to look to one side. We're going to breathe out, come to center. So we want to open ourselves up. Breathing in, looking to the other side. <laughs> breathing out, come to center. So Daisy thinks I'm talking to her as we do this. We're going to breathe in, we're going to look up, we're going to open the mouth and say, ah, oh, we're working with the jaw. Ah. And then we come back to center, breathing in, looking down, breathing out, coming to center. We'll let go of that for a moment. We'll begin to roll our shoulders. Hi, Daisy. But Daisy likes to get involved sometimes. We'll roll the shoulders. And as we're in this place of awakening our body from our, our sleep, I want you to be kind to yourself. Many times as we're doing our practices, as we're moving, as we're moving through the day, we say things to ourselves that are maybe unkind. So we want to unwind that and say kind things. So we'll come back to center. I'm gonna bring myself a little bit forward so I have some movement available to me. I don't wanna be right up against the back of the chair and I wanna have my feet on the earth. So what we'll do is we'll bring the hands back into prayer. We'll do a little twisting, but do it easy, easily with the breath, moving, breathing in one side, breathing out to the other. Remember, I always remind us that the ribs can be a little bit tight in the morning. In the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. I know, Daisy, but you're going to stay here. <laughs> we'll come back to center. She's talking. We're going to take one hand to the chair and one hand up. <laughs> Breathing in here. Breathing out, we're going to drop over to the other side. Can you guys hear her? Breathing in, we come up. Breathing out, we're going to go over again. We're going to do this again. Gently, gently. <laughs> there we go. We'll come back up. Now we're going to take this arm, and we're going to reach a little further. And then we'll come back up. But bring this arm behind us now. Gently, gently. We're going to breathe in here. We're going to breathe out, reach a little bit. Beautiful. Breathing in. It's an arc that we're creating. And some of us may not be able to go to this reach because of some shoulder uh, things that have happened in our lives. Daisy agrees. We're going to bring that arm down and bring it back to the other chair. I mean, to the seat of the chair. Take a moment. Notice how one side of the body feels. Always good to notice. Go, oh, look, it's working. Okay. We're going to breathe in. We're going to reach the right arm up. We're going to breathe out. We're going to drop over. We're going to come back up. We, remember, we're doing this a few times. Breathing in, breathing out. At some point, I'm going to have to open the door for my princess. Okay. <laughs> that was not me. All right, so now we're going to do this reach. We're going to reach that right arm over, and then we're going to bring that arm back. And look as we do it, right, James? We're going to breathe in, reach it over. We're going to breathe out, coming back. We'll do this a few more times, breathing in. 
Breathing out. Breathing in. <laughs> Breathing out. Let's come back. Bring your hands to the chair. We'll take a moment so I can let Daisy out. Go ahead, go. All right, so she got her hellos in, and now it's time to go. All right, so we're going to open the legs up a little bit and bring our hands to our lap. Now, some of us may not be able to go to this place, so because of any repair work, but let's just be nice and easy. We're gonna do our trunk rolls. And as soon as I begin the trunk rolls, I feel the lower back is a little tight. So I'm gonna start small, nice and easy, and I'm gonna connect with my breathing as I do this. And one more, beautiful everybody. I love when everybody disappears and then everybody pops up at around the same time. We'll come back up. We'll try the other side. And if you feel a little dizzy, a little lightheaded, you don't have to go as far forward. You can pause. Nice and easy. Roll the shoulders if that's calling to you. So these are our little warm-ups for the body. And then we'll come back up to center. Taking a moment again in stillness, seeing how this feels. And we'll do a little bit of the cat dog with the back. That's what it's called, the spinal rocking. And I show you this way. So it's a pushing out of the tailbone and a lifting of the face and the heart. This is our inhale. And this, navel to spine, pushing the tailbone now so it's going under. This is our exhale. We'll do it two more times. Breathing in, reaching. Breathing out, navel to spine. Breathing in. And breathing out. And we come back to center. I'll bring myself back to center. We take a moment. Now, I like to do a body scan. Crown of the head, soles of the feet. How is the body feeling today? How are we feeling? And then we're going to do a little bit more. I want to get the legs in today. So see what's available with some of this, okay? I'm going to try, first we'll start to warm up the abdominal muscles. I'm gonna hold on to the chair, I'm gonna move this way so you can see what I'm doing. You can stay where you are, I'm just moving to show you. I'm gonna lift the right knee, hold it. I'm gonna to try to keep my back long, and then I'm gonna bring it down to the floor. And then I'm gonna to go to the left, hold it, if you can see, my toes are pointed towards me so that everything is, there's a flexion in the movement. And I'm gonna bring it down. We're gonna go a little faster in a moment, but first here, then you can circle as we hold it. That way we get blood circulating in the ankles. Ankles can get very stiff. And then we'll go to the other side. That's it, circling and then bring it down. Now we're gonna go a little faster. See if you can keep, look at the back. My back is nice and straight here. I'm gonna to try to keep my back nice and long. I'm gonna hold on to the chair, but I wanna be able to get the abdominals working, the legs, the muscles in the legs, the muscles where that reach right into the, um, the crease of the pants. There we go. A few more. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll take that left leg or right leg out and point the toes towards us. Press into the opposite leg that's bent. Press onto the floor. We lift. You can hold it if you'd like and then bring it down. 
We'll do that again. Breathing in, breathing out. Yes. And again, breathing in, breathing out. We'll switch sides. I was just thinking that we may want to have two chairs one day so we could do some other work in the chairs, having our feet on the other chair. We'll go to the other side, right? We did that at the library, I forgot. We'll do that again. So you might be feeling this in the back of the leg. It might be hard to do. That's okay, you could bring your leg right here. We'll do that a few more times. I like to do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of strengthening because we got a body that needs to keep moving and grooving. There we go. And one more. I will bring it down. I'll turn the chair again. We'll open up the knees a little. And sometimes these muscles right at the crease get a little tight. We'll just circle a little bit. See how that feels. And then we'll come back to center. I only did a couple. I'm going to lift my right leg. And I have my hands on my shin. Now see if this is also available. I'm gonna bring that thigh in real close. Yes, and I'm pointing my toes towards me. So I want to have my thigh as close to my belly as possible. And then take your elbows, hug them in, nice and close. And then maybe nose to me, and then we're going to bring that leg down a little. Breathing in here, breathing out, nose to knee. We'll come back down. Breathing in, breathing out, nose to knee. We come back. Now, we haven't done this in a while, so anybody who wants to try, you could take your hands on either side of your foot. If you can't reach your foot, you can hold on to your leg, your shin. I'll show you, some of you may not be able to today, that's all right. This is what I'm trying for. I'm gonna move the chair sideways so you can see. I'm trying to lift the leg. We've done these in classes, nose to knee. And if you want, some of you might be able to hold on to the big toe and then bring the leg out. But take your opposite arm out so it looks like that. Yes, this is always fun. We're doing acrobatics. There we go. And we'll come back. Big stretches. We'll try the other side. Warming up. I feel like the body's warming up. It's summertime. We might as well warm up the body. Okay? So here we go. We go to the left leg. We're gonna snuggle it in real close to our belly. We're gonna hug those elbows in. You can point or flex the toes, maybe circle the ankle again. We'll do a little nose to knee. Breathing in, breathing out. You can drop that knee a little bit. Breathing in, breathing out. The breathing out happens when there's a constriction of the abdominal muscles. That's why we do this. We're bringing this leg in. It's our out breath so that the diaphragm muscle pushes the carbon dioxide out of the lungs. So that the next in breath may be a bigger in breath. I see somebody has a strap, Mary Ellen. Excellent. I forgot about those. And one more, and then if you want it, so a strap or a, a tie or a scarf could be used for some of these. All right, so now I'm gonna hold on, beautiful. We should highlight Mary Ellen. <laughs> I know you wouldn't want that. <laughs> okay, so hands on the outside edge of the feet. And if you want to see my big feet, Nose to me. I feel the stretch right away. 
And then, if you wanted, you can take two fingers around that big toe, and you can reach that leg out. Or you can imagine you're doing it. How about that? That's always a favorite. Our imagination. We'll bring that back in. We'll come back to center. Take a nice, big in-breath. And I can't hear you, but I'm going to ask you to let it be a big sigh out. Ah. Letting go. We're going to try that again. Whatever's coming up that you want to let go of today, hey, let's do it. Breathing in. Ah. We'll do that one more time. Breathing in. Ah. Very nice, everybody. Very nice. So now we're going to take these arms out. We're going to open the hands. So you see how my hands are. So anybody who does have a block that wants to have it here, that's fine. If not, that's okay. You can press your feet onto the floor. We're going to reach the arms out. We're going to open them. Bring them a little lower than the shoulders. Yep. We're going to bring them behind us. If it's available. And then we'll lift the face, lift the heart. If you want, you can hold on to the chair. Reach the heart up. Little back bend this morning. Opening up that heart. And then we're going to come back. We're going to bring these arms back. We're going to wrap our arms around us. Yes. Give ourselves a big hug because we deserve it. And we're going to tip our chin in. So we snuggle right in. Nice, easy breathing. If you want to round the back a little more, draw that belly button in towards your spine. I see everybody doing it. We'll come down a little bit. Taking a nice deep breath here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Ah. And then we'll roll the body back up. We'll bring our hands to our lap. And you may notice, I feel it already, how the body just feels more awake, but in a very peaceful way. So from here, we're gonna stand up and I'm going to move the chair so that we have a good idea. I have to also move the screen because my head was chopped off. Okay. We'll do some standing, then we'll do more seated. If anybody wants to stay seated, you're welcome to do this. Um, um, if you're staying seated, the folding forward would be a little different. I just want to show you. I would like you to hold on to the chair and you would fold forward. Now, or you could bring your hands to the leg, but that may not be possible for some of us. So see how you feel today. For those who are standing, the reason why it's not possible, you might feel off balance being in this position. See what I mean? You could bring hands here, you could fold forward, or stretch the legs and fold forward. But for those of us who are standing, it's going to look different, okay? For those of us standing, we're going to first hold on to the back of the chair. And my chair is very low, and that, makes, that helps a lot for the practice. You can also work with a wall if you, don't, if you want to have the posture. So the wall would look like this. Walk your feet away and then push your tailbone away. If you're working with the chair, not a lot of pressure on the chair, walk the feet away, that's it. There we go, everyone's disappearing. And then we bring our upper body, I would say the, the neck and the head, as we push the tailbone away, that goes right 
towards the center of the arms. And you'll feel this in the back of the legs, the hamstring muscles, the calves. Breathing in, breathing out, letting go. This is a big posture for letting go. Another big breath in. Ah, letting go. One more. Breathing in, breathing out. Ah, letting go. We're going to come back up, navel to spine. We'll walk ourselves forward. We want to bring ourselves right into mountain pose. So mountain pose is right here. And what's a, the most important thing about this is as soon as we come into this, we want to become aware of grounding ourselves, our feet on the earth. And as we're holding here, we're, I have my left hand on the chair. I'm going to lift my right leg. And I'm going to do a little circling of the leg. If you are in a chair, you might have to scoot one side of your hip off the chair to get this little circling. So one side of your bottom might have to kind of slide off a little bit, but be aware because of balance. And then we'll circle the other way. You can feel how that standing leg is doing all the work, right? Beautiful. We'll bring that foot to the floor. Notice how that feels. If you need to, you can switch sides. Switch sides with the chair. To say the folding chairs are amazing to do this work. They're very sturdy. They're low, they have the right spot to hold on. And here we go. Mountain pose. We lift, we circle. See if you can keep that body upright instead of leaning to one side. So what we're doing is we're circling this big femur bone right into that socket. There are those of us who have repair work where this may not be available. And if you're, you know, you have to follow what is calling to you, your body. I'm moving it now in the opposite direction. That's it. Might feel a little bit on the inner thigh. It's getting a little bit of work. And then we bring that foot back to center. That feels good. I like it when the muscles are doing their work. I guess that would be me. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to the chair again. Some of you may wanna even stand behind the chair. I'm just gonna show you this way. I, I don't like to show the back, but I'm gonna hold on to the chair and I'm gonna to come to the toes. All right, so you got an idea. We're gonna to come to the toes. And then we're going to come back down to the heels. The reason we do this, our balance is greatly affected by the strength of our toes. So we want to exercise those toes a little bit. We'll come back up. We come back down to the heels. Breathing in, we come up. Part of my head disappears. Breathing out, we come back down. And one more. Breathing in, breathing out. That's it. And you can move a little bit, swing those hips a little bit, a little wiggly. If some of you want to move the arms, you can do this a little bit. Ah, letting go. It's a good day to let go. The leaves know what to do. They just drop to the earth. As I said it, my front tree, a bunch of leaves fell. <laughs> there we go. Just a little movement. And then we'll bring ourselves back to center. Notice how we're feeling. Feel alive, feel refreshed. 
I'm moving the chair because I'm going to begin to move into some other postures where we're going to open the legs up. There we go. And then we're going to turn the right leg out. And we're going to lift the toes and turn it in. We're doing a little exercise with just the leg. So you can let go or not. Right leg turns out. We lift the toes, we turn it in. One more, right leg turns out. We lift the toes, we turn it in. We'll go to the other side. The toes lift, the left foot turns out. If you need a chair, bring the chair in front of you. We bring it back in. We lift the toes, turn it out. We lift the toes, turn it in. Okay, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take both my heels and I'm gonna turn them in. If anybody wants to try this with the chair in front of them for balance, please do. So without the chair or one hand on the chair, I'm gonna lift the heels. So we're back on the toes. Now I'm gonna come back down to the earth. Chair can be in front of you. Breathing in, lifting the heels, little balance. Breathing in, coming back down. Little lift to the heels, yes. And we'll come back down, beautiful. All right, so now I'll take those arms out. If you need a chair, bring the hand to the chair. Arms are reaching, hands are open, we bend the knees, we bend the elbows. This pose is called goddess. We need to bring more of that divine feminine energy onto this beautiful planet of ours. So take the elbows, we'll lower them just to drop. If anybody needs the chair, hold on to the chair. If you're stable here, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna twist a little bit. If you have the chair and you need the balance, hold on to the chair with the right hand as you twist to the left. Come back and switch. So it'll look like that. If you're not using a chair, both arms are reaching and we do a little twisting. Just a little bit. If you need to straighten the knees through this, go ahead. If you want to have them bent, go right ahead. I'll move the chair so you can see. And then we'll come back to center. We straighten the legs. We straighten the arms. We're going to drop over a little bit. We're not holding on to, if you need the chair, hold on to the chair. We'll come back to center. We'll drop over a little bit. Beautiful, everyone. The synchronicity is beautiful. We come back. One more side. One more each side. Yes. Oh, that feels good. Okay, back to center. Arms rest, we pause. We take note, how are we feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay, <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, so now we'll go. My humor is just right on point today, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll turn our right foot out and my left foot in. See, the hardest thing about the humor is you guys are muted, so I don't know how funny I am because I'm not hearing the laughter. But I laugh at my own jokes. All right, so we'll reach both arms up again. I'm going to be bending my right knee. My left hand would be on the chair. I'm going to bend the right knee. Either one hand, both arms reaching. We're going to turn our head to the right. We're going to focus on this. We're going to then turn left palm up. We're going to reach it up. So get a vision of a sailboat, right? The sailboat just lets the wind right through the sails. There's an aspect of letting go here. Just sailing through. 
We can do it. And then we'll take that left arm down to the chair or to the leg. I'm turning my right palm up. I'm gonna reach my right arm over a little bit. So I get a little stretch in the ribs. Breathing in, breathing out that letting go. And we'll come back, both toes forward. We'll go to the other side. Our left foot turns out. So now our right hand would be on the chair. Our right foot turns in, breathing in. Either both arms are out or one hand is on the chair. We bend the left knee. We look to the left. Now, if anyone wants to try this, right palm turns up. We're gonna reach that arm up as we look, as we sail. As the wind catches our sail, we let go. We're just coasting here. Beautiful. We have a point where we're going, but we're riding that wave. Beautiful. And then right arm to the chair, left arm up and over. Or of course, right onto the leg. Beautiful, everyone. And then we'll come back. We'll bring both toes forward. I'm gonna check timing here. Okay, so I invite you now to the chair. Bring yourselves to the chair. I'm going to move the chair and move the screen. Okay, so give me a moment here. Bring yourselves back against the chair. Get nice and comfy. I'm gonna move this. We'll play the singing bowls again. Singing bowls are amazing when we're working with letting go. Okay, is everybody seated back? Beautiful. One more moment, I wanna make sure I have all my tools. Okay. Alrighty, as we sit back, I'd like us to take a breath in. Ah. I can't hear you, so you're all good. Breathing in. Ah. And I want to uh, invite anybody who's on the floor, you may want to lay down. You can have that beautiful gift of laying down and really absorbing the energy because we're not holding the body up. Sometimes just sitting up can be more of a challenge than letting ourselves rest, really moving into that letting go. So let's close the eyes if you're comfortable with that and begin to let ourselves drop into the sound healing. That's it. And we're gonna begin to let ourselves relax the muscles around the forehead and around the eyes. Around the neck and the shoulders. Down the arms and through the fingertips. the muscles of our back. Through the muscles of the chest and the belly. Through our hands. 
hips. Through the legs, all the way through the toes. Now, as we are resting, we're going to bring ourselves beneath a beautiful oak tree or a maple tree. But this tree is one of the biggest trees you've seen in a long time. And we're going to sit underneath this tree. Maybe there's a chair. Maybe we're sitting on the earth with our back against the trunk of the tree. We look up and we can see the bright blue sky. And as we're resting, we notice the beautiful colors of this tree of ours. We may see the colors of red. We may see orange, yellow, green, and that bright blue sky. And as we notice these beautiful colors, the wind begins to pick up just a gentle breeze. And some of the leaves begin to drop falling down to the earth. And we notice with grace how they fall to the earth. The ease in which they move, floating, circling, not knowing where they'll land, they just gently fall. Letting the air guide them to the earth. And as we're in this spot beneath the tree, watching how the wind moves the leaves, how the leaves drop to the earth, we may receive a message. Let's take a moment. Are we hearing a message from our guides, our higher self? take a moment to thank that guide, our higher self, for what we may have heard. And if we didn't hear anything, maybe another day, we want to take that message into our heart and be guided with that knowing that we just heard. And then we'll begin to let our breathing deepen, taking a moment to say thank you to this beautiful tree for the wisdom that we receive in nature, for the gift of the beautiful colors and sky and air that we breathe. And we'll begin to now move the body a little bit Wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, awakening ourselves and into this present moment. And then we'll take our hands to our heart. We'll bring to mind someone in need of healing, bringing their face from mind into heart, being generous with what we give and sending this out to those suffering around the world, in our own country, in our own hearts, we ask that suffering is transformed into peace, 
We ask for the healing of humanity, the healing of our planet, as we now take from our hearts, passing this energy to all of us. And we're gonna send this out into the cosmos for healing, peace, love, freedom, and unity. And when you are ready, you could begin to open the eyes. And I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So good to see everybody. And a quick reminder, I also teach on Fridays on Zoom with the Harrington Park Library. Yeah, okay. And if you want more info on that, same time, 1030. Lynn has all the info. And we just began last week and it was lovely. It was lovely. So we have some familiar faces there. So I appreciate that too. Um, so if you want more info, Lynn has that. And I think, I think now I'm on YouTube because Lynn is recording these, yes? Right, so this is being recorded. So if anybody 